Hi everyone, this is Rachel from HTL, uh, also known as Amothe327, checking in again to talk about the extended cut from Aspect 3 now that I'm a little more rational and less rage face. I also printed out my notes that I took uh, while we were playing through the extended cut from Aspect. Wanted to make sure that I hit upon some points. Uh, I'm not as upset or as irate as I was when I first played through Mass Effect 3 and saw the ending. Am I disappointed? Yes, but I don't know if it's maybe more that I'm just tired and I just don't want to expend the energy being frustrated and upset about the whole thing. Uh, I spent yesterday, the day after seeing it, pretty much avoiding all things Mass Effect. Watched a baseball game and I just kind of hung out um, stressed out about an upcoming job interview, but that's besides the point. Uh, I don't know. I've really avoided a lot of pretty much all ideas and how people are feeling about the extended cut. Mainly, I just don't really want to talk about it. Um, I'm disappointed, but I'm just tired. Uh, so, mainly, I guess this uh, video was just going to be me talking about what I noticed with the extended cut that I'm either not happy about or the few areas that I did like. Um, as you can see, my notes were mainly just bulleted. Um, they're not really a whole lot of intricate things. Um, there's things like, no, the elevator, um, fuck you, star child, um, anger sharks. Um, nothing really all that important. And of course, I'm getting a phone call while I'm making my video. Um, I love it. Uh, but anyway, one of the biggest questions I guess I have in terms of the Star Child dialogue is even though Star Child does tell us who created him, and I, I don't want to say hypothetical sense, but pretty much is, he doesn't actually tell us any specifics or any details or anything like that. I am curious if this AI evolved. Was Star Child created with the intention, well he even states he was created with the intention, or it was created with the intention that he, or it, was, I guess I keep calling it he because it's taking the form of a little boy. So I'm just gonna keep calling it he because it's a stupid little Star Child that all I wanna do is just bitch slap. Um, did that AI evolve at some point? Because if he had been created initially to keep the peace between organics and synthetics, somewhere along the line, something changed. And I want to know what happened and what, what made it change. And, and why did all of a sudden the creators of that AI have to become the Reapers? He, he makes the comment that they reluctantly became the first Reapers. Okay. Was it that they were strong-armed into it in a way? Was it like what? There obviously had to be a catalyst, no pun intended, for such events to occur. What were they? You give us more dialogue, and I still have more questions. I get that I'm always gonna have questions. I mean, that's just the way it's gonna be. Whenever you read a book, you see a movie, anything like that, you're still gonna have questions. But I feel like none of the questions or none of the answers, none of the dialogue they gave us answered any questions. Um, I also find it a little ridiculous that the, a lot of people complained and didn't like the whole star child and where's the bulk of what they give us? All right, more dialogue options with star child. Awesome, great idea Bioware. Let's just give the fans exactly what they don't want. You know, I have this great idea. Um, you know, I have to go, all I can think of, I was just thinking about things that I hate. I hate spiders, can't stand them. And then it just all of a sudden reminded me of Indiana Jones and the fact that he hates snakes. So let's just, you know, make people do things that they really don't want to do or they're scared of or, you know, something like that. Um, I also found it a little ridiculous that it seemed like there was a lot of circular logic with the Star Child conversation. Uh, I also found it when he, let's see here with my notes, conflict and war. Are you really going to split hairs like that? Um, conflict, war. I get that there are distinctions between the two, but really, 
you're going to get that nitpicky and that nitty gritty about something like that, that's not okay with me. Um, when we went through and, you know, one of the dialogue options um, that Shepard gets is to just say, I want details. I just couldn't help but think, really? That's the best the writers could come up with. I want details. It feels like they just went on their Twitter account and pulled somebody's comment. I want details. More details. And that was it. I, I, I don't know. That just bugged me. Um, oh, another area that is pretty much completely unrelated to the ending or anything like that is when Shepard and Anderson are having a conversation uh, after uh, the elusive man dies and, and all that. And he says, and Anderson says to Shepard, you did good. I know there are probably going to be people out there that think I'm ridiculous for getting all up in arms about this. You've done well. Well, not good. I get that you can use good, but well just sounds so much better. And people really, it, it also helps to make you not sound like a moron. And every time I see that or I hear somebody say, you did well, or you did good, sorry, you did good. I just want to scream and say, you did well, you did well. I know that's nitpicky, but what, what can I say? I'm a teacher, those things just bug me. Um, anyway, uh, like I said in my other video, the first choice that we went through was the, um, I reject your choices. And when you do that and Star Child walks away and he just says, you know, so be it. I was like, oh, Star Child is pissed. Um, I thought that was really bizarre. Um, we also did get a new Stargazer ending. It was a female. I don't know if anybody else saw that. Um, I think it was if you reject, no, I don't know if it, it was when you rejected the endings. Um, but I thought that was interesting. I kind of wonder why it was that way, but um, once again, more questions. I thought that was a little weird. Uh, and I guess, um, I still, the, I guess the, the biggest thing that I still have left is the whole issue with when you choose destroy. What happened with Shepard? What's that twitch twitch, you know, <sighs> ending? I don't, come on Bioware, what's the deal? Do you just like leaving us all in suspense? Because guess what? I'm not a fan. Um, I mean, is that, is that really the proper ending? Is that really the ending that we're supposed to get? Because if that's the case, then I don't know. That's the ending that I feel like we, like you should go with. Um, I, I don't understand the synthesis ending and the fact that you have been fighting against the Reapers this whole time and the Reapers have been the scourge and the bane of the existence of the galaxy for who knows how many cycles, but now all of a sudden we're supposed to trust them and oh, all of a sudden let's work together, you know, and sing Kumbaya and rebuild the galaxy. Um, I, I just, I fail to see how the synthesis ending is a, a better option. I know there are people out there that will probably say, how dare you think that the synthesis ending is anything less than great and amazing and wonderful, but I just don't buy it. Uh, I was talking to a friend of mine uh, the other day and he, all, he, he brought up the ending of the Matrix about like, oh no, let's get along with these machines that, you know, were trying to kill us this whole time. Like, we can be friends. It doesn't work like that. You can't just put aside all of the negativity and just be like, okay, we're gonna get along great. It, no, no, it doesn't work like that. Maybe now that we're, you know, part machine or something that we can all get along and I don't know. I just thought it was ridiculous. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, yeah, now I'm all of a sudden I'm drawing a real blank. Um, like I said, I think I'm just done. I'm just over being upset about this whole situation. Um, I think that there could have been a lot more done with this and of course I don't want the story to end. I have thoroughly enjoyed Mass Effect for these last five years. I've read all the books except the most recent one which I've heard you really shouldn't read because it's really bad. Um, I've only made it about three chapters in and haven't touched it. Um, but I'm, 
I'm working on a cosplay for as Tali for an upcoming anime convention, so I really love the series. And unlike other people that are completely swearing off the series, that this is completely ruined for them. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm living in denial and I'm just pretending that the ending didn't exist. But I just, I refuse to let such an amazing series be, be ruined 100%. Can I really bring myself to go through and play three? No, I might start the last character I have. I went through, you know, played one, played two, played three, made it to the end of Rannoch and everything, and had the conversation with Tali, saw the stupid picture with Tali, and raged face about that for a long time. That's not okay. Um, but other than that, I can't. I can't get past that. I just can't bring myself to play it. Um, and maybe that's just the way it's going to have to be. Um, I think that my, uh, people at Bioware missed a great opportunity to do other things with the Mass Effect series in the future. My husband and I have had um, lengthy conversations about how Mass Effect could be turned into a fantastic, um, massively multiplayer online game, an MMO, if you will. Um, and one thing that I guess should really be a testament to the Mass Effect series, I have never been a space person. I don't like, I don't really like sci-fi movies that take place in outer space. Um, I have no desire to play any games that take place in space. Um, he played Planet Side, um, he played EVE Online, my husband, um, Freelancer, things like that. And that just holds absolutely no interest to me whatsoever.